an excellent verse for us to keep in mind during this bizarre time in our lives comes from Psalm. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 The writer is telling us here that no matter what is going on in the world, school, sports, work, and now sickness and quarantine, that he is in control. And what better time for than now for us to be still? After all, we really have no choice. There's no school, no sports, nowhere to be. Why don't we use this time to grow in our spiritual relationship with the Lord? Remember that we are made in the image of God. He created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then what did he do on the seventh day? That's right, he rested. But Genesis 2 verse 2 says he made that day holy. Now if rest, relaxation, and being holy are important to God, then it must be important for us too. In Matthew, we read of a time that the apostles were needed to remember the lesson taught back in Psalms. I guess you could say we are in a bit of a storm ourselves in 2020. Jesus went up on a mountain to pray. As he prayed, the disciples ended up in a terrible storm on the sea. Their boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. We can imagine how helpless the disciples felt. Suddenly, the disciples saw a figure coming toward them. Walking on the waves, in their terror, they cried, It is a ghost. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter, the impulsive man that he was, said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come on the water. So Peter got out of the boat. He was walking on the water toward Jesus, but then he looked away. The wind got his attention. He turned his eyes away from Jesus, and he began to sink. Panicked, he cried, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus grabbed hold of Peter and said, Oh, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? In our storm, Jesus asked us the same question. Why do you doubt? Our life can be like this terrible storm. This story reminds us that we can trust God in the storms of our life. Jesus is right there with us in our storms. The apostles didn't recognize Jesus because they were not looking for him. Had they been waiting by faith, they would have recognized him immediately. How often is the Lord speaking, seeking to lead us, but we don't see him because we, like Peter, took our eyes off of him. It's hard to remember sometimes that Jesus calls us to keep our eyes on him in the middle of our storms. Peter began to sink because he wasn't looking to Jesus. That's just like us. We all know the feeling of fear, anxiety, and worry. It's hard to sink when we forget God's promises to us. We forget that he is in control of our lives. Sometimes we forget God altogether. We forget to be still. Jesus will get us through this storm, just as he has all our other storms. But we have to keep our eyes on him, or we, like Peter, will sink. But the storm will pass, and don't forget Jesus is with us in it. Another thought the Bible gives us that goes along with being still is to have peace. It seems hard to be at peace, but this is exactly what God wants us to be. In this time, let us be still and be at peace. Jesus tells us in John 16, verse 33, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That is how we have peace. That is how we can be still and face the storms of our life. Jesus has overcome the world. Today I challenge you to be still. I don't mean lay around your house watching Netflix or taking naps all day. I mean take the time today to just stop. And know that God is willing to get us through whatever storm we are going through right now. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46 verse 10.